Welcome back. You're watching KTN News Desk right here on KTN News. And Health Cabinet Secretary, that is Mutahi Kagwe, is currently briefing the media on the update of COVID-19 and vaccines in the country. Let's cross over live to Afia House and listen in. Proposed that they want to carry out their own uh, campaigns, campaign, uh, campaigns outside of what the ministry is currently doing. And we want to make it very clear that there is no vaccinations, there are no vaccinations that should take place outside the Ministry of Health designated vaccination approved sites and by persons approved by the Ministry of Health. If there are any outreaches to be conducted, they must be carried out from the designated vaccination posts. And this applies to both the public and private health facilities. The Ministry of Health, working in collaboration with the county health teams, are solely responsible for the distribution of COVID-19 vaccines. This is because they have to ensure the maintenance of the cold chain system and the potency of the vaccines. Vaccines which are not stored in established cold chain facilities and transported to the vaccine posts as per the established protocols are likely to lose potency and will not be of use to those who receive such vaccinations. Administration of any vaccine should be done by a qualified and duly registered clinician or nursing staff. Those staff must also have received recent training in the administration of the vaccine. Any other person doing so will be in contravention of the law. Vaccinations that are not properly administered will lead to unnecessary side effects that could potentially result in deaths. Ladies and gentlemen, it has come to our notice that some politicians have begun to politicize the vaccination process for their own political gains. This is not only immoral, but unacceptable and very disturbing. This has the potential of endangering the lives of our people and the public in general. The Ministry of Health would therefore like to issue a very stern warning to any person with the intentions to pilfer vaccines from government facilities that you face the full force of the law. I, want, I also want to warn any health worker not to collude with outsiders to issue them with vaccines without the authority of the Ministry of Health. Such a situation will lead to immediate disciplinary action. All vaccines issued to counties and health, and health facilities must be accounted for. A weekly county logistics report must forthwith be submitted outlining the doses received, doses used, dose balances, and the number of people vaccinated. Any facility that will not account for doses issued, we will not be issued with any more vaccine doses and we will be delisted. At the same time, any private facility that will be involved in any impropriety will be deregistered with immediate effect. Ladies and gentlemen, for clarity, let me just say the following. There are some facilities that we have learned are charging citizens for vaccinating them. We want to make it very clear. Vaccines are not for sale in Kenya. Vaccines are not for sale in Kenya. And as a citizen, if anybody proposes that you should pay for being vaccinated, I want you to know that they are in violation of the law and you should refuse to pay.
In fact, the best thing for you to do is to get vaccinated and then refuse to pay. Let them vaccinate you and refuse to pay. And tell them at that point that you are not supposed to pay. What's the point of uh, them not vaccinating you? Let them vaccinate you. Refuse to pay. If anybody proposes to you that they should pay, at which point you should report so that we can deregister that institution and deregister the person who is charging you. The second point to say is what I said earlier, that there are those who are carrying out health camps, they are calling health camps, with stolen vaccines. There is no way an individual around the country of whatever station will have vaccines of their own unless they are stolen vaccines. Because when we give a facility, if we give a facility in Roiro or a facility in Ruaka or a facility uh, in Komorok, if we give vaccines to that facility, they are specifically for use in that facility. You cannot take vaccines from one part of the country, take them to Gatanga, and start carrying out vaccination processes there. Nobody knows what vaccines they are using. Nobody knows whether they are actual vaccines or whether it could be anything else that they are vaccinating with. It's a criminal offense. And we want to make it clear that this is not going to be tolerated. Because by the end of the day, it is people it is our own people we are endangering. And this is where we again call for citizen responsibility. Do not agree to go to a vaccination facility that you don't know about. You can't see the Ministry of Health people. I have seen pictures of people in jeans and all sorts of attire going around vaccinating people. It's wrong. It's immoral. And to take political advantage of a situation like this and cause death to people, it's really, really, you know, the, 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 the worst and the lowest that an individual can get to. I also want to urge the political class of whatever level that it is getting to a point where you are frustrating us as the Ministry of Health. We cannot have this nonsense of three steps forward and then we come back, we come back all the way to where we were before. We have no bed capacity. Our isolation facilities are full. And yet, you know, people still continue, you know, in, uh, in, 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 in causing crowds to come together. We cannot continue like these people. By the end of the day, if that happens, and we saw it in Kiamba, we saw what happened in Kiamba, we saw the results of the campaigning period in Kiamba, and what happened in Kiambu, where we lost a lot of people. It is obvious, it's very obvious. If you, if you call crowds in, if you go campaigning, it's obvious that you will kill people. So what is the political cost? What is the political cost that we want to bear when all we are going to do in the coming future is just burying our people? So I once again urge our political class not to be the cause of the problem rather than to, to participate in being a, the solution to the problem. I also want to urge the Kenya Medical, I'm, I'm actually directing the Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentist Board Council to immediately begin to deregister those institutions that uh, are currently uh, charging them as soon as we have got any evidence. The council should also deregister persons who have participated in illegal vaccination processes so that forthwith they do not practice. And the council should also be carrying out investigations, continuous investigations, as to the behavior of those in the medical fraternity to ensure that they are not endangering the lives of Kenyans. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to uh, belabor the point. I think we have said enough. I think it's a question of uh, ensuring that what we have proposed is what is followed. But I would also like to, uh, to
to mention and to thank the private sector because effective today, we also now have a structure of the participation by the private sector. Their account of the treasury has been opened. They can now actually proceed to put in money and the process of supplying uh, private sector with vaccines, which are also going to be administered by the Ministry of Health. There will be no sale of vaccines. The private sector participation is through the Ministry of Health. They simply want to support the efforts of the government so that uh, they can also be players. And we thank them. I want to say a special thank you, you know, to them uh, through the organization that they are currently using. And I also want to ask that those others who have not participated and can do so, you know, to also come forward now that we have got a structure and a method of uh, private sector participation. Thank you all very much. Let me ask um, uh, Dr. Amos to just weigh in a little bit and talk about um, the efficaciousness of the, um, and the danger in some of the things, some of the practices that we have seen from a technical point. Thank you, Waziri. Thank you, Madam Pierce. Uh, just to highlight what Honorable Waziri has said, that vaccines are stored 